Hey guys, we are here at the Gambo booth, SHOT Show 2019, and we're on our journey. I mean, this has been an air gun journey already. We saw some cool guns already, and now we're here, and I just had my mind blown, and I am not even kidding. So they've had the swarm, you guys know all about that. Automatically loads the pellet for you, pretty stinking cool. Now they have the next generation, I'll hand that off. They've got the next generation, notice anything different? Check out the profile. It's lower, they've kept the open sights. Now, this thing was one of my favorite guns. This was the Mach 1, awesome, awesome gun. Now we've got the new Gen 2 Swarm on here. Check this out. Now I'm going to cock this and watch what happens. The magazine rotates and allows the pellet to be inserted into the breech and then it lays back flat again so you have a low profile. I'm telling you, that is stinking cool. For you guys that wanted the traditional open sights and multi-shot, now you have it and you don't have some big clunky monstrosity hanging on the top of your gun. Fully automatic, cock it, and go. That is very, very cool. But that's not all that Gammo and Daisy have going on here. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about Winchester. As many of you guys know, Winchester came out with some big boy air guns last year, 35 and 45. And the 45 is really probably my favorite. It was pushing right around 200 foot pounds, very, very awesome, very, very effective. Now. The so downside, if you want to call it that, actually this is a big upside. Texas made hunting with air guns legal for game. That's awesome, so now big boy air guns are legal. Let me tell you what's just happened. They've got a new model of the Winchester coming out, probably here in a couple months, that will be legal to hunt with in Texas. It's gonna have the right power output, 45 caliber. You're gonna be able to take this into the woods and take your whitetail. That is awesome, this thing, Still, one of my favorite big bore air guns. Reliable, simple, powerful, accurate, just everything you want in a big bore gun. And it's magazine fed. There's not a lot of big bore air guns out there that are fed with a magazine. And not only is this gonna be fed with a magazine, it'll be illegal to hunt with in Texas. And we're not done yet. All right, guys, so the other thing I wanna talk about is the Gamo big bores. Now, there's a reason they don't have a 45 in the in the in the case here, it's because they're sold out. There are none, they're all gone. Um, that's awesome, but here's the cool news. There's a bunch on a boat on the way over. So we're gonna have the new Gambo TC45 will be available shortly. Now what we've done is the 35, thinking about this whole legality and, and power, they've made a few changes to the TC35, which I'm kind of excited to tell you guys about. What they've done is they've taken the TC35 and they've made it longer. So now we're gonna have the TC35 long. It's not here yet, but it's on the water. We should have it any day. And you can bet as soon as we get our hands on one, we're gonna be posting some content on it. The cool thing that I'm hoping is gonna be the case is that the 35 should also, should be also legal to hunt with in Texas. So we're gonna have 150 grain pellet doing over 800 feet per second. If it hits that mark, which everything tells me it should, we're gonna have a 35 that's gonna shoot over a thousand feet per second with lightweight pellets, and will also be legal with some heavier cast to shoot big game with in Texas. This really is very exciting because you can have one gun in your truck, and whether you're hunting predators or pests, you just switch out the ammo, and now you can go ahead and hunt your big game, your pigs, your deer, your javelina, everything that required a firearm before in Texas, you're gonna be able to hunt with now with one air gun. That is awesome. Guys, we got a lot more to talk about here at SHOT Show 2019. This has been a lot of fun here at the Gamo Daisy booth, and this is just the beginning. Stay with us. I was mad at this guy all year because he didn't shoot the full auto 556. I'm gonna make him do it today. I don't care if it hurts his shoulder. He's gonna do it today.
that harder than you thought it was going to be? You know, it just, it's just so much. You know, trying to control the rise is just impossible on that. Yeah. So, at least for me. <laughs> you know, we're taking a lot of practice. All right, guys, we are back here, shot 2019, and we're at the Hawk booth, hanging out, checking out some very cool stuff. My friend, how's it been going? It's like deja vu all over again. You know, we do this spot every year. I know, I feel like we just did this. Yeah, and you've got new stuff again. We, yes, we do. We have some really cool new stuff. So let's start right up in your wheelhouse. Okay. We've had the Air Max scope out for a long time. This is a staple. Mine. This is the new Airbax Compact Scope. Okay. Noticeably smaller, noticeably lighter. Uh, this one is in a three to three to twelve by forty-four. We can, you know, a fully adjustable turrets that can be on or off, right? And capped, but significantly lighter. Same type reticle inside of it. Yeah. But we dropped the size on it tremendously, lightened it up. Great for a smaller gun. Great for great for any gun, actually. And it's still side focus. Yep. We still great reticle. Mm -hmm. Nothing's changed in that respect. Yeah, that I mean the Air Max, the Air Max reticle has always been a favorite of mine. The etched glass floating yep. reticle, just great. It's and this one's illuminated too. Yep. It is. And we've changed the illumination system to our more standard that it's every other click on off on off. That's really cool. So you're not leaving it on and draining that battery down every time you take it out. That is really, really, really cool. Yeah. I like that a lot. Uh, price point? Uh, 350, 355. Okay. Affordable. Yes, okay. affordable. So one of the other things we did mm. in 2018, we totally redid the endurance line. Okay. Made it into an entirely new scope. This year it was the Frontier Line Star. Okay. So the top of the line scope, we have totally revamped this. That looks really cool. <laughs> we have we have used a lighter, stronger grade aluminum. Okay. So the scope is lighter and stronger. We've changed the glass to a crown glass, so it's unleaded, no metal in the glass. Increased clarity. Okay. Still taking our 21 layer multi coats on it, but it's enhanced the clarity even further. Um, we have also added a new feature. We've added a true zero stop. We listened to our customers that said we want a way to stop this. Uh, it's a patented zero stopping mechanism that requires a remove tightening and removal of three screws. Adjust your scope, tighten it back down, and it'll stop dead on zero when you're trying to when you're dialing back That's down. Very very cool. Um, let me take a look here. Sure. You know, this is probably a silly thing, but I love that little knob. The throw you know, knob actually comes with the scope. It doesn't come installed. There'll be a, when you buy it, there'll be a screw in that hole. Yep. Take the screw out, put the throw handle in. That is, go. that's really handy. Sometimes you want that positive feedback. You're really grabbing hold of that, that thing and moving it. That's very, You've very You've got cool. gloves on. You're trying, you're yep. easy to get a hold of and get it turned. And this one is, looks like it's first focal plane. That one is first focal plane. We now have okay. three in the frontier line that are first focal plane. Awesome. I'm a real fan of the first focal plane stuff, guys. The more we used it last year on the show, first focal plane really, really, really is, is awesome. And it's something that uh, I encourage you to try out because, you know, budget scopes are all second focal plane. You don't really think right. about it till you switch over to first focal plane and all of a sudden it changes your entire hunting experience. It's really, really cool. Yeah. So try the first focal plane out. That is very, very awesome. Something else we added in the Frontier line, which we'd never had before, is we've added a one inch tube wow. into okay. the Frontier line. For somebody that still likes a one inch tube mm -hmm. and wants the quality, high quality of glass that there is, that we have now adapted the, the Frontier into the one inch. It has the same features. It has the zero stop. It has the larger tactical, tactical knobs. It still has the locking turrets, the parallax, and the illumination. It's just a one inch tube versus a 30. Gosh, that's such a nice reticle. I'm such a fan of that reticle on that. And, and let's talk one more thing. Okay. You can't have it. You can have the great scope and a great gun, but if you can't stick it onto the gun, what are you going to do? So we introduced last year a line of steel mounts. Right. And we have we have both the quick detach and the nut. If you want to, to go ahead and screw that down tight uh, for a Picatinny and a Weaver, or we also have them for a nine to eleven millimeter okay. dovetail. And this year we've expanded that line and we've gone into. Uh, more of a tactical mount, the wider mount with the three screws and in multiple heights up to an extra high that you can get a co-witness with okay. uh, All right. with a fixed blade sight. And the advantage to the steel is what? It is, it's a, it's a more rigid 
support base for it. And also just from a, a simplicity sake, with an aluminum mount, not that there's anything wrong with aluminum, but you're screwing a steel screw into a softer metal. There is the chance that you're gonna strip the screw out. With a steel mount, not only is it a firmer, more stable mount, you're also screwing steel into steel. The, the chance of it stripping is almost zero. Okay, so this is precision. Precision, correct. Yeah, the other's practical. And this is, and this is practical precision. Correct. <laughs> precision, practical. Yeah, 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 whatever. whatever. It just, it's a more robust mount. Yes, it okay, is. Okay, I got it. And got with it. we've also introduced with the wider mount, as you'll see that some mounts are much more narrow. This is wider to handle the higher, faster recoil so you don't get buckling in the scope. I got you. So you have more surface area, Correct. grabs on, more Correct. stable. Okay. Correct. All right. What else we got? So we added this year also, we've had uh, five range finders, 400. 600 and 900 yards. Okay. We had a Hunter model that was in a four and a 600. Well, this year we've expanded that. And now we have a 700, a 1,000, and a 1,500 yard range. Okay. So this is a this is the 1,500 yard range finder. Wow, it's in the endurance. It's very small. It is very small. It's red illuminated. That you, that the red can be uh, has oh, six stages cool. of brightness. With for the for the illumination. So that if it's darker, you can lighten it up, brighten it up. If it's lighter, you can dim it down or use brighten it up to overcome the sunlight that is actually really very cool yeah and it's small it's light it fits in a pocket i would not have thought the high-end unit to be this light and compact this i mean i would have thought it'd be bigger <laughs> right <laughs> i'm sorry man. and we're at a price point of uh msrp and that's 319 wow for a 1500 range finder. that is impressive one other new thing, we've added another line to our Frontier binoculars this year. Okay. Last year we had the EDX binoculars. Well, this is the Frontier HDX binoculars. Okay. It's a different glass. It's high, it's high density glass. Okay. So it is, it is going to give you a clean, as clean and crisp an image as we did in the ED glass, but it lets us make them more economically. Okay. Um, you may notice a few differences between the ED and the HD glass, but they're minor. But we're also selling this at a $100 price point oh, cheaper. Oh, goodness. So we're looking in the 389 in that one where the HDXs are a little bit more expensive. Gosh, that's clear. Yeah, I, I'm a fan. What I've always liked about your binoculars is the way it, it, these expand out mm -hmm. so that it works for guys with glasses. With glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Makes that so much easier. Yeah, that is something else. Well, it looks like we're due for a refresh. It, My friend, I, I I'm gonna have so. to get with the big boys. We're gonna have to get upstairs. you guys geared back up. That's right. It looks like we got some cool stuff to work with this year. And uh, guys, if you're an air gunner and you're looking for quality optics at a really affordable price, and I think the thing that has always impressed me with Hawk is that it is more expensive than some of the super budget stuff, mm. but you get a lot for your money. And we're also and the other thing, Rick, I want to mention is we're still giving you the unconditional lifetime right. warranty on this. If anything ever happens to this, we're gonna repair it or replace it. Yeah, that's awesome. At the price that you're getting the quality at. Today. It is really, really cool stuff. We rely on Hawk for our like go-to stuff when we're out there hunting. These are the products we rely on. And so I gotta tell you, this stuff's pretty nice. If you're looking for any of this gear, whether, oh, you know what? I forgot we about forgot this. We forgot the binocular. Now, yeah, you said, <laughs> well, we had that last year. Well, I didn't see it last year. Okay. So now I've got to talk about it this year. Okay. Because this, this is an ED glass binocular. Correct. Right? Correct. And this one is actually not so small that you can't use it. I mean, this is actually, I can hold it up and see quite nicely with that. That mm -hmm. actually works really well. It's well in your hands. And sometimes I don't want to have a big set of binoculars. Maybe I want to just throw this in my pocket, Ben run. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just throw that in my pocket without having to have a bunch of extra gear hanging around my neck. That actually is pretty cool. Yeah. I like that quite a bit. It, it, and it, it crosses over into a lot of different things. Air gunning, powder burning shooting, mm -hmm. archery. I know I have a lot of customers all but to deviate from air gunning that shoot tournament archery yep. and they want something they can hold up real quick, put it down, take their shot. Yep. Very simple. Um, we also sell a little tripod for this. Yeah, that's that you cool. You can set it on the bench next to you and just look through oh, it. Oh, that's like a, little mini, like a little mini spotting Short scope. Short range spotting scope. Yep. That's very cool. So that I like. I think that would be very useful in the field. You know, yeah. having, I, I tell you what, I do it. It's a bad habit, guys. Don't do this. I'm lazy. I don't want to take the binoculars. I got the binoculars, but they're heavy. They're just extra gear. 
and I'm using my scope to, as binoculars, really not yeah. the best thing, is your point, your muzzle. It, it, look, you're not supposed to do that. I'll admit I do that. We but all do if that. I had this, I wouldn't because this makes that far more practical. So I really like that product a lot. So. We've had we've had really good luck with it, and I, I personally have one and really, I, I mean, I use it a lot. All right. Well, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up here at the Hawk booth. But we're not done with Shot Show 2019. We got a lot more coming your way. Keep watching. Oh. There you go. Hey guys, it's Rick Utzler again here with SHOT Show 2019, and we're at the Air Arms booth, one of my favorite manufacturers. They build awesome air guns. We're here talking to Sheila about what's new for 2019. So Sheila, take it away. Okay, thanks for stopping by, Rick. It's good to see you yeah, again. Always. We've got the TDR Tactical. Uh, it's now fully regulated for 2019. Um, black soft touch pistol grip, black soft touch cheek piece available in 177 and 22 so this is what's new at the show this year okay now this we talked about last year um, we had you'd already done all the other mods but we were sort of teasing about a regulated version you were. and you brought it out so as far as consumer uh, requests go that's all the boxes really checked isn't we it we like to listen to our consumers yeah yeah so we got a fixed moderator for the u.s market yes we've got Good power, good shot count. Actually, better power, better shot count, correct? Yeah, than the unregulated versions, definitely, yes. All right, and so we got better shot count, better power, and this awesome, cool package. And as a hunting guy, going out in the field, if I, especially if I'm out stalking, you know, if I'm out prairie dogging or uh, rabbit, squirrel, uh, raccoon, all those things, and I don't want to be carrying a big, heavy rifle, something like this is awesome. And you're still doing it in the case, right? We still do it in the plastic case, yep. yeah. That's the back end obviously comes yep. completely off in two pieces, so it's very compact and easy to use. Yeah, you just put it in the case, yep. put it in your truck, your car, whatever, you've got it right there exactly. with you. That's very cool. Now, exactly. on another note, something we hadn't talked about, but I want to point out to you guys that are interested about air guns and getting into air gunning, you got to fill the PCPs, right? Yep. So now, this has a relatively small cylinder. It does. So, a hand pumping that, no big deal. Exactly. So, no you have big these deal. bigger guns with bigger cylinders. And you're looking at compressors and all these other things. But with this, this is, you know, a very practical gun. If you're just looking to have something that shoots very accurately, good power, and very compact, very portable, very sustainable. Exactly. You don't need a lot yep. of stuff to go with it. That's a great option. So yep. I, I like that gun. If you guys can't tell, I've got one. I love it. I don't have <laughs> one of these yet, but Not I really yet. like that gun. I'm sure you'll be getting one yeah, soon. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and what else do we have here on the wall? I mean, you've, this is the XS, and this is... This Just is what sort we of bought out, right? last year. Right. Yeah, we were we bought it to Shot Show last year to show everybody what we were going to be doing. And again, it's a regulated rifle, so it increases the shot count and increases the power of the gun. Mm -hmm. And it was available with the walnut stock, with a black soft touch version, or with the laminate stock still. Okay. So yeah, we've been very pleased with those. We've already sent some across over to right. the US, um, and there's more on their way. I know that I actually have one of these in the black mm -hmm. soft touch in 25 cal. Ridiculous accuracy. I mean, at 115 yards, I'm shooting golf balls off golf tees. A really nice, good power, good shot count, really exceptional gun. That review is actually going to be coming out shortly, so stay tuned for that. It may already be. By the time you watch this, it may already be out. But that is an yep. awesome rifle, and I can't wait to show it to you guys. Exactly. Anything else And new? it's got all the adjustability, don't forget, Rick, with right, the adjustable right, right. cheek piece, adjustable butt pad. It's got the studs as standard to fit slings. Oh, so. let's not, don't get me started with <laughs> swivel studs. All right, so pet peeve of mine, as we were at dinner talking the other night, exactly. pet peeve is a hunting rifle that doesn't have swivel studs. I hate that, but with this gun, you have them. And one of the first things I noticed when I took it out of the box, 
is I, I did a little hallelujah party because you put swivel studs on it. That means when I'm taking this gun out in the woods, and this is like, it's not only like effective, it's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't want to be bouncing this off rocks or whatever. You exactly. want to take care of it. You need to be able to sling it if you're taking out the woods. And with this, you can. So thank you very much for doing that for the hunting market. Uh, that gun is going to be awesome. If you want something that's like better than average, way better than average, at a, at a good affordable price, I think what you get for value is exceptional here with Air Arms. These guns are incredible and you really can't go wrong with them. They're just really, really good. good. Anything else new? Uh, that's what we've got this year. Um, and we've got the new 10 meter target rifles. Well, Not really suitable for the US, but I mean, they look fantastic. Well, we're gonna, and let's that's do why that. we bought them with let's us. Let's reset and we'll kind of reset the camera. Okay. And then I want you to talk to me about the target sprint. Okay. Because that's like a passion for you guys. Yeah. And we here in the US market, we're like, we're clueless. We don't know what it is because we're too busy playing video games and sitting on our butt <laughs> with our phones. This is a great thing to get the youth out, get them involved, get some physical education going exactly. and get, you know, get their blood moving and fat burning. I could do a little of that myself. Get them out there, but it's also super, super fun. It so is. let's reset. We're going to talk about that. We'll be right back. All right, Sheila, we were just talking about the cool stuff on the high power side. We were, yeah. Now let's talk a little bit about the target sprint because that, that's like huge over there. It is huge in the UK, yes. Um, we've been working with British Shooting um, quite extensively actually on this new discipline which is called target sprint. Um, we use 10 meter rifles okay. um, and basically it gets the youth involved and keeping fit athletes or shooters just combining the two. Um, so the event consists of a 400 meter run, then they shoot five targets at 10 meter distance, another 400 meter run, stop and shoot another five targets, and then finally finish on another 400 meter run. Now, do adults do this? Yeah, adults do it as well. Because I would There's need like the lots of first 200 classes. meters, yeah. then they'd have to call medevac. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You'd be standing there for five minutes waiting for your oh, yeah. heart rate to go yeah. down so that you could stand still and shoot the targets. Wow, that's um, impressive. So we've designed this new rifle, and as you can see, it's quite, um, funky design it's eye-catching Every, it's very eye-catching everybody yeah. walks by and goes yeah. wow and yeah. it, it's that's very very cool exactly yeah. well it's set for 10 meter target shooting and it's based on our NPR rifle mm -hmm. that they use at the moment but in conjunction with British shooting we designed the new cocking mechanism because it's all about speed of shooting and getting back out onto the track again um, to do your laps. So we've got this unique cocking lever, so it's a quick thumb movement to cock the rifle, single shot load the pellet, and then you're ready to fire and go again. They can shoot the five targets within 10 seconds, which is completely amazing. Yeah, because if you're trying to do this and this and then exactly, this, yeah. Exactly. And I've worked with this, and it is literally just click, click, go. Yep, they have a holder for the pellets on the side of the rifle, and they're literally just cocking and loading. That's very, very yeah. cool. Well, I think that kind of a discipline, uh, shooting discipline is very cool. I hope it catches on in the States. We hope so, yeah. I mean, that idea of incorporating, you know, physical athletics. And really when we were talking about it, it's really the summer biathlon really is what it is. Exactly. So instead yeah. of skiing and carrying your rifle, you're running and then these stay at the shooting booth. So yes, they're not they do, running yeah. with the guns. They're not running with the guns yeah. at all. No, okay. And also, it's fairly new in the UK, but it is big in over 30 countries worldwide. Yeah, so this so, is a big yeah. deal, guys. This is something that we get the, the kids involved, getting them you know, out off their butts and off exactly, their devices. Yeah. And hey, shooting is fun, and this yep. brings the fun, especially with these cool colors. But it's a spectator sport as well. Really? So you've got everyone cheering on their favorite athlete or competitor. Um, yeah, and it's very exciting. Well, guys, that's going to wrap this up. Sheila, thank you for taking the time today. I mean, we've talked about your cool rifles. We've talked about the target sprint. I really think that would be cool for the U.S. market. We could get that into the school systems yeah, and get the kids so. up and running. That would be very awesome. So yeah. thank you for taking the time today. Guys, that's it here for Air Arms at SHOT Show 2019.